Morning guys. So, uh, oh, Jadia wants to show you uh, her new shirt that we made. Check this out. Yeah, this one is really good. Critter Hunter Club, show the back. <laughs> so yeah, you can get that in our website. The link is below. It really helps the channel. Anyways, uh, no diving today. It's such bad weather. It's been raining a ton and the waves are really bad and then all the rivers are going right to our dive sites. So it's like really bad visibility, all muddy. But, so I'm gonna hang out today and then we're gonna go meet some friends at the beach dive resort. Hopefully it's not rainy and just hang out. I'm doing some interviews there. It's another local expat channel. So he wants to interview me about my travels. So see this new fence? They built this, uh, so it's a funny story of this property we're on. They, uh, it's like a thousand square meters, really big. And it's here in Dowin on the mountainside. So literally out in the middle of fields and mountains. It's so beautiful, really peaceful. Uh, and then somebody bought the property next door, which is whatever, but it's three times bigger than this one. It's huge. But in proper Filipino style, they decided to build a house right next to ours. It's so annoying. I, it's it, In America, it would ruin the property because literally they could have built the house over there on the other side of their property with the big front windows overlooking like hills and palm trees everywhere. Just fields of, of trees and nice mountains. Instead, check this out. I don't know if you can see that, but they built the house right next to our property, literally looking down on our pool. I'm gonna go show you. Hmm? Critter hunter. So because of this, uh, because of this house, literally next door, yeah, they, instead of overlooking these beautiful fields and mountains they decided to put it right next to us so their window is looking down on our pool <laughs> look at this it's it's hilarious they have huge property over there but they're literally building on top of us so the owners are building this uh bamboo fence it's kind of cool we're watching the hey buddy hey Maddie. <laughs> I've been watching the workers build this fence. It's literally a bamboo tree they cut down. And then smaller ones for the sides. And then they get these big ones and split them into like two inch uh, strips to put here. And then they nail them to here. It's pretty solid. But it's really cheap. Uh, but I just can't believe. Look at that. The window. The house is literally looking down on our pool. It's hilarious. All in the Philippines. There's the rest of the poles that they're going to split up, make the rails, and. Uh, <laughs> Hide our house. Excuse me. Do you know how to get to the beach? Rude. Texas here. I mean, look how peaceful our area is. It's just so so peaceful, and then somebody had to build their house. <laughs> looking down on us. I don't know if they're lonely or what. It's just so hilarious. I feel so bad for the owners of the property. They just wanted privacy. Tip tip time. So nice here, 
even though there's typhoon day. We bought a fish for the tricycle driver, and I said, well, won't it go bad if you don't go home? <laughs> Sitting in the tricycle while you drive us around? Yeah. And he said, more stinky, the better. <laughs> right, P? Yeah. More stinky, better. <laughs> guys it is the next day and <laughs> look how rainy it is so this super typhoon that that they evacuated a million people it missed us but it's so super rainy and shitty but I don't I don't care I don't care if there's a freaking tsunami I gotta I gotta go diving and make some episodes for you guys <sighs> they're working on the fence let me go show you the the progress how they do it so he's got these poles they're gonna make all the little rails <laughs> and the rain and everything huh let's go see your friend hello how are you <laughs> Almost done. It'll be tomorrow. Yeah. Too much rain, huh? <laughs> These are actually uh strong, huh? A lot thicker than I thought. <laughs> Stupid rain. I'm soaked. Whatever. Let's go diving. I don't care how rainy it is. I'm probably gonna have to pick a nice easy dive site though with a sandy entry. Cause I'm sure there's some big waves. So I don't want to play with the rocks. Oh well. I want to show you this tree cause I really like it. And then we'll go diving, I swear. If anybody knows the name of this tree, I think it's awesome. Anyways, scuba. You guys like our little uh, critter car? No, this one is a Ferrari. <laughs> this is the critter getter? Yeah, this one is a critter getter. But I like, I like your mask. This is too, this is, it looks like so small, but this one is so fancy. Yeah. This is our best friend. It's the perfect this. little scuba car. Thank you so much, Goya. <laughs> we have to come here to Apple Scuba and rent tanks. Cause I don't own, I don't own any tanks. So we're going to get tanks. And then I think we're going to go dive at Mesoplod. See some something. See you today, Sir Alex. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna find at Muscle Plus? Yeah. We hope we can uh, see find some, something good. Some no? Special. Special? Yeah. Muck diving? We hope. Maybe ribbon eel? Yeah. That is lucky. Oh, you're going to. Oh, you're going to. I'm, not, I'm not Filipino enough. <laughs> I'm expert you see some flamboyant cuttlefish lately? Yeah, we we hope there. As we hope. Yeah. As we hope. All right, let's. Are we ready? Yeah, we ready. Let's go. Let's go. go. Ah, we forgot to get water, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's starting. Uh, By the way. If you're like 320 pounds, this car is not as awesome as it looks. I gotta wedge my ass in there. So this is what we call Massaplot North and South. That's one of those 
dive sites where you can't really predict what you're gonna see I've seen everything here from ribbon eels all kinds of octopus I'm not claiming any octopus this time I was searching for octopus my last three videos and nothing happened <laughs> but I like this site there's some weird stuff you never know you never know what you're gonna see so on the first dive We'll go check out the south. The only thing I don't like about it is this uh, rocky entries, but whatever. It's a nice dive site and a nice parking spot with bathrooms and everything, a little shower. Hey, buddy. It's beautiful, but those rocks suck. That's all right. There's, I don't know if you can see Apple Island. There's Siki Hor. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what we can see. So I've come to the awesome muck diving location of Massaplot North, and I'm just gonna hop in the water with low expectations and show you what I see. Of course, every dive has to begin with a scuba selfie just to show you how cool I am. The first part of these dives are sandy, but then you come across these anchor blocks which have loads of little critters on them, including tons of shrimp. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of all the shrimp in pretty much every episode, but they're such perfect little subjects. Just like this little guy, they just sit in front of the camera, cleaning themselves or catching food. They're always up for an awesome shot. Same with this little sexy shrimp. You can see why they call it a sexy shrimp, because they just wave their butt in the air all day. This one was hard to get close to with that sea urchin guarding him. So what does this awesome little soft coral remind you of? I know what it reminds me of. So at the beginning of the dive, I told my guy that we should check all the whip corals and see if we could find a Tezuma shrimp or something cool like that. And that's how I found this little fish guy hanging out. I also found a little shrimp. He's not the Tazuma or the cool ones I was looking for, but he's still pretty awesome. Although tiny and hard to film. Here's a little quiz. Can you tell me the name or species of this soft coral? And of course, I can never pass up a porcelain crab. Every time I see the countless anemones, I have to peek inside, even though you guys are probably getting tired of me filming these guys. I just love them. But did you know that if you listen really carefully, you could actually hear the sounds of the ocean? Let me turn off the music and the audio, and maybe we can hear what this guy's saying. Huh, he says that I nap too much. All he does is drink all day at the Mantis Club, or watch Spongebob in bed. Meanwhile, I'm out all day catching his dinner. Do I ever get the things? No. I should have married Lori from the Green Anemone, like my daddy told me. Um, okay. I guess there's all kinds of drama in the crab world. I wonder where this mantis club is. So finally, at the end of the dive, my guide calls me over and he found the black ribbon eel. Now, I was hoping to find this guy, although, seriously, 
black ribbon eels or frogfish or black anything are really hard to film for me. And I guess this is a GoPro shot of me setting up the tripod to try to film this little guy. But as you can see with black ribbon eels, you can't see a lot of detail. It's kind of hard to see what he looks like. It's just too dark, even with the lights, and you, not a lot of contrast going on. But these are my favorite eel, and one of the coolest and hardest to find critters in the ocean. So of course I had to sit there for quite a while, run down my air, and try to film this guy as best I could. Now of course for me, the holy grail of eels would be a yellow or blue ribbon eel, but those are a lot harder to find. These black ones are hard enough on their own. But the yellows and blues are not around much, and it's gonna be a challenge to film those guys. <laughs> I just love the stupid expression on their face, just looking around like, uh, what's going on out there? I wish I could have got better shot of this, but they're one of the coolest species on the planet, and I hope more biologists are studying these guys to try to protect them, because I love them. And I love filming them and showing them you guys. And now it's the end of the dive, and I'm just kind of hanging out around five meters doing the safety stuff. And it, you know what? Isn't that some good buoyancy? That, that is just some sexy moves right there. Holding a giant camera and everything. That's just some good looking diving right there. Anyway, great dive. Can't wait to get back in the water. Yep, that was a pretty awesome dive. It starts out over here with uh, more like muck diving, a lot of sand and just little rocks here and there that you search and there's always some cool stuff. But then on this side, the left, it turns into a massive reef, like a huge, there's a huge pile of staghorn, really healthy, lots of fish. And then, of course, right at the end, I'm like out of air, he signals me over to to uh say that he found a ribbon eel so i was like damn i'm looking at my gauge i'm like ah screw it and uh so i got to film the ribbon eel they're hard to find but the black one is uh the most common so it's hard to film the black ones the color just never comes through or anything but it'd be awesome if i could find the blue or yellow one so i think you guys are gonna have to wait for the next video for my next dive we're gonna go explore another site. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And that's all the critters I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button and while you're at it, the bell notification so you never miss a critter episode. So let's check out some comments from episode 15. The first comment says, I'd love to just see a sea moth. Yeah, well, first of all, you could get to Philippines and I'll show you some. Second of all, I'll challenge you to get one to look at your camera. I've been filming these guys forever and I just can't get a shot of their face. They're too shy. The next comment says, If you would show us on a map where you're diving, that'd be great. If you'd also tell us the depth that you're diving at when you're filming, that would be awesome too. Thanks for the beautiful photography of interesting sea creatures or critters as you call them. Uh, that's a bunch of emojis. Thanks, Richard. Uh, how'd I do this time? I added that map. Took ages to make. And I think I'm gonna add more maps to the other episodes from now on. And try to explore all the dive sites around Dowin. So let me know how I did. So if you guys want a chance of me reading your comment, all you gotta do is leave a comment here. If you like this video, you'll probably like either of these two, so click one and enjoy. See you guys on the next one.